by far the most popular time to take your RV out is summertime. And if you've got an air conditioner, that could be the difference between you having a great trip and an awesome trip. Having a place to go seek refuge on a hot day is so nice on the road. So if you want your air conditioner to work properly, especially when we're above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you gotta do a little maintenance twice a year. All you gotta do is clean the coils. That's it. There's not much to it. In this episode, not only are we gonna show you how to clean the air conditioner on your RV, but also how to clean the air conditioner on your truck. That way, when you go in there, your whole family's nice and cool. Come with me, I'll show you how it's done. It must be maintenance Monday. Woo! Let's get to work. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the interior cover of the air conditioner. Take a flathead or I like to use my keys, it works just as well. And turn these two little pins and bring it on down. And when you do this, there's these little filters inside of there. And you should be cleaning these about once a week with regular use, maybe twice a week with heavy use. Look at all that nastiness. The key to cleaning these is dish soap and water, and then just slap them back on there, they're good to go. And that will help prevent your air conditioner from getting clogged up in the future. Once you take that, that down, then there is four Phillips screws. Pull this down. And you'll notice these little tabs on each side, they're there to catch the plastic housing when you remove all these screws. Just hold it in place. Okay, then there's three more screws up inside this area here. And the next part is you take these tabs and you rotate them long ways and remove the plastic housing. And there might be a lot of dust in here. I recently cleaned this, so it's pretty much good. And this is the underside of your air conditioner, all exposed. Mine is an eight millimeter socket. So these right here are your tension screws and you should be regularly and I mean like every other time you move, if not every time you move, making sure that these are snug. You don't wanna torque them down per se, because there's this little foam cushion in between the air conditioner and the roof of your camper. And you just want that to sit with its own weight on that cushion. And it's gonna compress over time. And that's why you gotta constantly retension these screws here and the, the idea is you just want them snug enough that the air conditioner is not going to go up at all. So as you drive, the vibrations of the road cause this little cushion here to compress. So you just gotta go up there and give them a couple turns every once in a while. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna keep your air conditioner from leaking water into your cabin. Those are really long screws. <laughs> Another thing you wanna make note of when you're doing this, as long as you're taking the air conditioner off, it's probably a good idea to replace this cushion. Ours is in pretty good shape, so we're not going to this time. I mean, they're very cheap, so I wanna say they're like five bucks to replace. We'll put a link in the description if you'd like to pick up one of those. I'm sure they have them on Amazon. But you can also get them from your local RV parts store usually have them. The only thing you got to do is measure this opening and get one for that size opening which I think they're all 14 by 14. I'm not sure. Maybe use a power tool for this part. <laughs> so the next step, go ahead and remove this whole electrical box and everything's still connected. In mine there's two wing nuts, one on each side. Just undo those, it should come right out. And that box should just slide right out, come down through here. And then you'll notice this little green guy right here. You wanna just undo that. 
and that concludes the inside portion of what we're doing today. So let's go up on the roof. All right, for the top portion, you're gonna need your coil cleaner, a hose, and a Phillips head screwdriver. So notice these four screws right here on top. I wanna go ahead and undo those screws and just put these ones in your pocket. So now this top cover should come right off. There's your air conditioner. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the air conditioner off and we're gonna move it right here. If you notice on my roof, there's a line right here and that's the change of the slope. So at one point, the slope goes down this way and the other point, it goes this way. Well, we're gonna be hosing this thing off. We don't want that water to drain back into this hole. So we want that water to drain off right here. And when you do this, there's some sharp points that you need to be careful of not damaging your roof, and that's the corners. So just make sure that you're not setting it down on a corner, you're setting it down flat. Don't drag it on your roof, because this rubber membrane will rip, and you don't want that. So the next thing you want to do is remove this panel here. I believe this side is called the evaporator and this side is called the condenser. I'm not 100% sure on that. From my understanding of how these things work and what we are doing, it really doesn't matter. You just want to clean both of them. If you remove all the screws on this panel here, it should come off and that should expose what we're looking for. You can just put these ones in your pocket as well. So I believe this is just insulation. Somebody post in the comments if you're supposed to clean this or not. The next thing you wanna do is get your coil cleaner. To my knowledge, there's no difference between condenser cleaner and evaporator cleaner. You're basically just getting dirt off of a radiator. That's all there is to it. So um, what you do, follow the directions. Directions state you wanna completely saturate your air conditioner and this stuff there's any debris that you can get out ahead of time, I suggest doing that now. A friend of mine who's a air conditioner tech, he actually turned me on to these brush caps. Um, you'll find them at your local auto parts store, probably attached to a can of something, I forget what it is. They work really well. They actually, you can brush the uh, coils with them and they pick up the little hairs and stuff really easy. They're nice and cheap. You want to spray this on liberally make sure and shake it real good so it foams then let it sit until the foam completely goes away so like probably anywhere from three to five minutes would be my guess okay and then do the other side You don't want to let this stuff dry on here. You want to get it while it's still wet. It just takes a light stream, not a whole lot. Nothing too crazy. You just want to hose it down, try to get all that dirt out if you can. Whatever you do, do not use a pressure washer on this. These fins are very delicate, so I've been told. Pretty much anything will bend them. You just gotta, gotta take it easy, be patient. And again, make sure you're not getting water into your little opening in your roof. Now, a lot of these cans do say that you can just leave it on there you don't have to rinse it off but what i was told by my air conditioning friend is it's better to rinse them off what it is on your condenser side it creates moisture and the moisture by itself will get rid of a lot of this stuff but it's never going to be as clean as if you rinse it with a hose that is the ultimate way and if you're going to do all the trouble of taking all this stuff apart might as well rinse it that's my opinion look at that Wow. Yeah, this side's always the worst. Because it's always wet all the time, stuff just clings to it. So, 
it's recommended that you do this twice a year. And you can see why. I haven't done this ever. <laughs> but I bet you it's gonna work really well now. Boy, look at that. So much better. What a difference. Now the one place that you really don't want to get water is in this hole right here. This is where all your capacitors are at. While all that's drying, you can take the opportunity to clean the uh, surface area that the air conditioner is going to sit on. And then that way we, when you set it down, it creates a really nice seal. If you need to tip your air conditioner for any reason, you can. But what I was told you need to do is anytime you tip it, you need to let it sit overnight before using it. Because something about the liquid that's inside of here goes into places that it's not supposed to be in. And so you gotta let gravity do its job and put everything back where it's meant to be. And that's it. Today, we picked a nice and cool day. It's only supposed to be like 75 degrees today. We're not gonna run the air conditioner probably till tomorrow afternoon. We're just gonna let it sit. Now that the air conditioner has had time to dry, we're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. Remember to stretch before you do this. If you have a bad back, don't even try it. All right, take this opportunity to clean off your cushion. There's actually a whole bunch of them down there. You wanna get them all nice and clean because any dirt that's in there, it's gonna wear on your rubber roof. Today what we're doing is we are replacing the cushion seal on the air conditioner. This is the old seal and it used to be that thick. So when it gets squashed down like this, you need to replace it. So as you can see, this is the finished product and the cushion has lots of give to it, which is exactly what we want. And then periodically, as you go down the road, you gotta check these screws and make sure that they remain snug because as you go, this cushion starts to squish a little bit. So that's it. So you wanna leave the cover off for this portion go inside, line everything up, just push up on the bottom side, lock it down. Once it's locked down, then you put the cover back on. So the next thing you wanna do, if you're reusing that cushion that I told you about, you wanna, it's really simple. You just line that cushion up with the hole. If you're replacing that cushion, it should still be pretty easy because it's pretty obvious where you need to put it. So again, just line the cushion up with the hole. And you do that by just slightly lifting it and moving it small amounts. 
until you get it where you think is the right spot. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then the next thing is you want to grab two of these big long screws in your bracket. And remember these, these little tabs that are hanging down, they go on the sides. Go ahead and get your thread started. on diagonal corners. And then you can go ahead and relax. Get your other two corners in there. And then at this point, you probably got a power tool handy. Thread these on up in there. Don't make it snug just yet. Once you get it up there where it's real nice and close, that's when you need to decide if you need any other movements of the air conditioner. Put the air conditioner where it needs to be and snug it up. And remember, you don't want to squish this cushion any more than it's already squished. Where it's at is where it needs to be. All of the only job of these four screws is to hold the air conditioner on the roof. Much easier with a power tool. So now this is the part that requires a little bit of finesse. Anytime you're working with finesse, it's best to use hand tools in my opinion. Do whatever you want though. It's your camper. I just feel like it's easier to feel the tension when you're doing it by hand. Whereas with that big powerful electric motor man, it's easy to overdo it. You know, just a push of a button and oops. So the next step you want to do is plug this back in. And remount it. And then you, you wanna take this probe right here. And you wanna, usually there's a nice little opening in the fins of the condenser. You just wanna plug this right in to a little hole in the fins. There you go. So the next step is Go ahead and put your fixture back on there. Remember those little tabs on the side? You just line those guys right up. They should hold it in place for you. I bored two holes right here in the plastic. What those are, they're access holes. So you remember those screws that I told you that you gotta tighten up once or twice a week? Well, originally when I got this camper, you had to take this whole plastic thing down. And that's four, five, six, seven screws. Rather than having to do that, I bored holes in here. So all you gotta do is remove the, the first cover. And so that's a nice little tip for you guys. Save you some time. I just used a one inch hole saw for that. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and put the cover back on the air conditioner. When you're doing this, you wanna start in the front and work your way back. There's some tabs in the front and you gotta make sure that the lip on the front of the cover gets over the lip of those tabs. There we go. All right, that's it. And you go inside, put that last cover back on, let it sit overnight if you tipped it on its side, like we did, and then check it out in the morning, see if it blows a little colder. Should blow a lot colder. Should have a lot more airflow. Should smell have a lot better too. All done. Next project.
My suspicion is that this radiator and condenser are very clogged up and so we're going to tackle that today and you get to watch me learn how to do it because I've never done this before. So step one, remove the grill and everything in the way. We got to get to that condenser behind there. Okay, so what you want to do is get yourself a container, put all your screws in. Here's the directions. I'll read them to you. This product must be used in accordance with the following directions by HVAC R professionals only. So we have three units here. We have our air conditioning condenser right here. Behind it, we have the intercooler and behind that we have the radiator. We're gonna attempt to clean all three of them. So you also wanna find little spots like this here. This has clearly been hit by a rock and if you can, straighten those fins out. We're gonna clean it first. Okay, so that's the air conditioning coil. So then we have this guy. We're just gonna brush it up and down. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to go through the condenser to get to the intercooler behind it. All right, and finally, you wanna rinse it all off thoroughly. So here, you'll see, right here, a pretty gnarly dent in here. Ideally, you want to straighten all these out. The straighter they are, they are, the more efficient your condenser will work. But you don't want to break them. And that most certainly is a danger when you're straightening them out. We're going to use a butter knife, see how that works. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You just take a coil, fish your knife in there, and you just put some downward pressure on it or upward pressure depending on what side of the fin you're on. You just straighten it out. It's as simple as that. So with these fins, I'm developing a technique here of running my knife down to the fold and then once I get a hold of the fold, I can manipulate it and put it where I want to. And always use the back dull side of the knife. These fins are incredibly thin and very easy to tear. Man, this air conditioner is gonna work so good when we're done, I'm excited. I love air conditioning, it's one of my favorite things. I thought that was gonna take a lot longer than it did. We're all done. <laughs> Congratulations, we figured it out. So what I do recommend is since you're in here, go pick up some screen. I think they sell this stuff at Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store or perhaps even an auto parts store. And just put a couple zip ties and what it does is it protects this condenser from rocks, bugs, debris. As you can see, there's quite a bit of bugs on here and we'll be washing those off as well. Right, so the last thing to do is put everything back together. Ta-da! 
Now we gotta clean the inside condenser. Well, hey there. So, the next step in maintaining the air conditioner is we need to clean the evaporator side. Why don't you follow me down here? So right here, behind this plastic panel, is our evaporator coil. And so we need to get access to this so we can clean it. This is a marine access panel. You just take it apart like so, and boom, you can stick your hand in and vacuum all kinds of different stuff and clean out your evaporator coil. The way to do this is with a four and a half inch hole saw. This is available on Amazon. I'll have a link to this in the description below if you'd like to purchase it, and it fits with a four and a half inch hole saw. First, you wanna measure out where you wanna put this. So the further over this way you get, the evaporator coil is at an angle like so. So it's closer on this side than it is on this side. The last thing you wanna do is hit the evaporator coil with your hole saw. So you wanna get lots of space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this to the edge of this seam right here. And that is precisely one knuckle away from the seam. So without losing a finger, I'm gonna go one knuckle away from the seam, make sure that I've got plenty of room on the bottom for a lip. Go about one knuckle from the bottom, just like that, and like that. So that should be it. So now we're gonna drill it out carefully. Probably do that a little bit cleaner. But look at all that, it's clogging up our air conditioner. God. Ugh, oh, that's so gross. And it's all wet. Dog hair and leaves. It's gonna work so much better now. Then the next thing you want to do is hose it out. The nice part is this drains right out the bottom and there's a drain hole in the evaporator coil and 90% of the water goes out the drain where it's supposed to go. You can hose this down all day long. As long as you're not splattering it on your electronics, it should be fine. Luckily, this truck doesn't have a whole lot of electronics. It's mostly mechanical, so I don't have that issue. You wanna be sure to clean out some track, cause that's your drain. So if you don't, you get that all clogged up, what's gonna happen is this is gonna fill up with water uh, during normal air conditioning operation, and it's gonna leak onto your feet, on your floorboards and such. Go in and clean it out. We'll glue it in. Today we're gonna to be using my favorite adhesive and that is Gorilla Glue Clear Construction Adhesive. This stuff is amazing. So what we wanna do is put it on the exterior right here. Just pour in a bead.
just press it on there. Get all that shit to ooze out. Wipe any excess with your finger. Not too shabby, huh? That's the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure enjoyed making it. Remember, I'm not an expert in this field. I'm just doing stuff from my own experience. In reality, I really don't know what I'm talking about. So do your research, do your homework, make sure you're doing it right yourself. Thank you for watching. Make sure and tune in this Tuesday, tomorrow that is, for a Travel Tuesday video. See where we're going next. Hit that like button, subscribe, and if you could, just ring that little bell. It'll give you a reminder when we put out our next video.